One of the biggest problems in soybeans over the last few years has been soybean aphids. It's been seven or eight consecutive years we've had to spray on our farm and thousands of other farmers across the Midwest have had to spray too. We want to talk today a little about thresholds, what you need to spray and when, and what else you can put in the tank to increase your yield. Well, depending on where you're at in the country, you may say, you know, it's still a little early to be talking about soybean aphids. Well, guess what? In the area where we farm, we started seeing aphids around the 23rd of June this year. So they came early again by our standards. It's not something you can say, well, I'll wait, I'll watch the calendar. You know, about the 1st of August, I see them in my area. No. That can change every year. It can change as wind patterns move because a lot of times aphids will move with the wind. You may have aphids out there right now if you haven't been looking. So we do want to get you excited about looking in your field, scouting, taking care of fields because if you get some aphids, spraying them and controlling them will provide you a great return on investment. Well, it will, but you need to have threshold levels first, and there's a big debate still about what the right threshold is. Many universities say 250 aphids per plant, Unfortunately, they're wrong. The right threshold, <laughs> the right threshold is, I, we don't know exactly what it is. It depends on your situation. But all I can tell you is insecticide is cheap now. The soybean price is high. If you look at work done at South Dakota State University, they've shown that having less than 10 aphids per plant up to about the R2 or full flower stage, you could justify treatment. We've actually done a bunch of that work on our own farm too, and we found about the same thing. So we would just encourage you to be spraying and spraying early if you have soybean aphids. The question is, what should you use? There are many different products that could be used for soybean aphids. Typically though, it depends on if you've got a heavy infestation and you want really quick knockdown, or if you say, you know what, I've got some, the numbers are growing, I want to control them now and I want to have good residual, maybe I'll choose a different product. And that's, this is really where the break gets to be. Yes. If you want that very quick knockdown, the best thing that we've seen has been Lorsban. Just a pint of Lorsban has been excellent at knocking those aphids down and putting them out of commission very quickly. But when you want a little bit longer residual, the pyrethroids have offered a little more long-term residual. Long-term meaning instead of maybe a week or 10 days, maybe getting two weeks oh, to maybe I, I even disagree. three. I disagree. I disagree. The Lors man, it, it appears that we're only getting three to seven day residual. <laughs> the pyrethroids, seven to 10 days is what I would say. So don't count on this 45 day residual or even 30 day or for that matter, even two week residual. Good luck with that. So just count on killing the bugs that are there now. Having a little bit of residual, that's about all you get. That's another reason why you may want to buy a product that has a respray. Just talk to your ag chemical retailer. Make sure you're getting a product that has a respray if you're spraying this early in the season. Now, one last thing we should throw in there. If you're going to be out there spraying anyway, you're already making the trip, you're throwing insecticide in, what else can you throw in the tank to increase yield? Well, the big thing is just to keep in mind, you've got probably hundreds of insects poking holes in that soybean plant. You've got all kinds of exposed wounds where disease can enter the plant. So you really need to consider using a fungicide with your soybean aphid insecticide. You will get a great return. And on we've investment. had good luck using a half rate of fungicide because we're in a drier area of the country. You could use full rate of fungicide. A half rate of fungicide like on our farm, we're using Domark, which also helps on white mold for five bucks an acre. If you want to go to Stratego or Quilt, that's just over five. Headlines around seven bucks an acre. I mean, they're cheap for a half rate. It's less than a bushel of beans, even a half bushel of beans. So get out in your field, scout for soybean aphids, and consider throwing some fungicide in with your aphid insecticide this year. While you're out in your field, see if you can find our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what it is coming up next.